Hi everyone, so um, this is the first video, so um, this is going to be an introduction. I always like to give them small introductions just so you can see what is coming up, what you can expect of the videos to come. So um, to give a small overview, I've been working two months on this project from start till finish. So um, a mold has been CNC mailed uh, by a friend of mine. You can see the video right here so if you click on that you can see the full video about uh, the mold being CNC mailed you can also subscribe to his channel he's doing some awesome stuff and we will probably be working on some other stuff together later on so um, that's for the first part there was some 2k uh, spray paint um, I've been testing that out um, but you can see all the details in the videos to come so that's for the next video um, next you have some carbon fiber shin guards I've did an aluminium epoxy mold um, with some resin from Vosimi and um, you can see the images right behind me so small thing to talk about some extras I've made myself a little book where I keep all my little IDs in because if I wouldn't do that I would just go nuts because um, I'm full of IDs and don't want to forget them so I always have this little booklet with me. So about uh, the project I've got some stuff to show you so these are the first chin guards I've made so this is still a prototype I'm not going to let people play with this before it's safe so um, you can see how it was made it's done with pre-prec uh, carbon fiber I bought it on easy composites um, I'll add the link in the description um, next I've did some other tests this is hybrid um, hybrid Kevlar with carbon fiber um, should give me some more um, impact resistance um, this were, those were made on a new mold that will be in the fifth part of the tutorials I think and um, it's done with a silicon bag um, just to be able to make more parts and I don't have to use those uh, vacuum bagging materials like tacky tape uh, vacuum bags and so on so I've got some extras for after this after those tutorials. Um, this is a field hockey stick I cut in half uh, just to analyze how everything was made, and um, I'll try to explain you how they made it. I'm not going to make one myself because it should be a bit too expensive and those companies already did a lot of trial and error to get this correct so I'm not be I'm won't be able to compete with that um, so for the second part of the tutorial um, of this video um, I'll give you a quick guide around uh, the company Vosimi I visited so you may have noticed I've um, used a lot of those of their materials and that's why I visited them so they are based in Lier it's next to Antwerp in Belgium and they are making quite some good um, resins and so on so that's the resin I've used in the second tutorial so I've also used uh, their clear coats tinted with red um, give me some quite some good um, results I've got some quite good uh, comments and so on on Facebook as well so um, if you don't notice I have a Facebook page also where I have some uh, awesome members interacting with me um, where we can discuss some stuff so if you are not on Facebook yet um, you should because I'm posting a lot of pictures along the project so most of you guys that are on Facebook as well already should know what to expect in the videos to come so the cool thing is you don't need uh, to have Facebook to visit the page so you just type in www.facebook.com slash composites and you should be able to visit 
that page as well. So um, don't forget to subscribe if you want the updates, notifications and so on. And then I should say up to the tutorials. So first a quick guide, quick guide around uh, Vosimi. And then from next week, um, that will be on the 8th of Janu January on Wednesday at 18 o'clock Belgian time, you can check um, the first part of the videos of this project. So stay tuned, see you next time. Hi there, so this is a quick guide around Vosimi. They gave me some information about the products that I was going to use in the tutorials. Everything was in Dutch, so I translated it to English so that all of you could understand it. Voilà. Dus deze prototype gemaakt in een snelgiet polyurethaan. Dat kan je als masters gebruiken. En daar bovenop wordt dan de negatieve mal gemaakt. Bijvoorbeeld in een toeringas. Verschillende lagen gelcoat en in verschillende lagen polyesterhars of vinylesterhars dat daarin toegepast worden. Dan heb je je definitieve mal. En in die definitieve mal wordt lossingsmiddel, de gelcoat en de polyester en glasvezel ingelamineerd. En als men dat er dan uithaalt, dan heeft men ofwel in een kleur ofwel in een kleurloze laag de reproductie. Dit is een twee componenten krimparme epoxygiethars, gebruikt om bestand te zijn tegen zeer hoge temperaturen, eh, maximum 180 graden. En die worden gebruikt in de toolingindustrie om AB's op thermo te vormen, maar kan ook gebruikt worden om prepressen in te produceren. Het is een gietbaar materiaal, twee componenten. Verharder en de hars gaan samen goed roeren en wordt dan rechtstreeks op isemoschuim of op een houten structuur gegoten en kan die nog bewerkt worden door te schuren, te frezen, te boren of te verlijmen. Het is een twee componenten polyurethaanlak. Het zijn dus twee producten hars en verharder die men met elkaar moet roeren. Heeft men ongeveer een 4 tot 6 uur verwerkingstijd mee. Het is een kleurloze vernis en die kan hooglanzend bovenop een carbonstuk aangebracht worden, zowel met een kwast, met een rol, als ook gespoten worden. En daardoor krijgt men een zeer slijtvaste UV-beschermende film, waardoor de carbon ook beschermd zal worden tegen UV-stralen. Thanks for watching. By clicking on the left video, you can go to the next video, and when you click on the right video, you can follow the previous tutorials I've made about prepreg carbon fiber. More than 500 people already like my Facebook page, so have a look, maybe you might like it as well. If you like this video, give my video a thumbs up, comment and share with your friends, they might like it as well maybe. So, subscribe for more and see you next time.